Yamari, what was the inspiration behind the film uh, and the story? The first inspiration is behind me. It's like first blood. It's like almost changed my life when I was a kid, when I saw it, like uh, I spent all my days in the forest running with a knife, playing Rambo in a way. And after that, it's been like a big dream of mine to make an action film in Finland, which is something that has never happened before. So I have been a lot of people laughing at me for having this kind of plan. But finally, I got to make it. And um, of course, the other inspiration is like a old, like Westerns and, and um, movies like that. And, uh, and also silent movies in a way. Like it was really important to me to not have that much of dialogue, to, to do it like an old school, like cinematic way of telling a story and, and have a, a simple story as possible, tell it as best I can do it. Yeah. Basically, that was the idea. Uh -huh. and it and it and it shows it so it, it's great because that's i that's the movies i remember growing up who because i remember as a kid watching mm -hmm. rambo and it kind of had that same feel where stallone never really had a lot of lines in rambo but mm -hmm. the action but the movie just progressed so well and it's memorable and i think this film is going to be memorable to a lot of the audience as well uh what, what was what was the idea of putting setting it in world war ii uh it came because I, I always wanted to make a film about gold rush in, in the old days in Finland, in Lapland. Uh, and, and when I started thinking about the Nazis who destroyed the whole Lapland in 44, uh, I thought, OK, that would be a good combo if, if I had those ideas together. And I've always wanted to make also like an epoch film and, and a World War II film because there's something so movie-like, if, if, if you will, like, like when you are there in, in the wilderness and you have all the tanks and you have all the people with the dirty faces and all the dirty clothes and, and the guns and the stuff like that, it, it's, it looks like a movie itself, like already. Uh, and there's something really inspirational on being on a set like that. Mm -hmm. Like, if you compare that to making a movie in a in a in the middle of the city, like with normal people. Yeah, and the one thing I do want to touch upon is your cin cinematographer. Amazing shots. Some of the I, I was sitting there and I was just they are beautifully shot. Uh, how did you? How was it working with him to get this these images onto the screen? Uh, well, I have worked with with Lagerus many times with doing commercials mm -hmm. and and a couple of short films also, and um, and he knew exactly what I wanted. Uh, I, I made all the storyboards with, with an artist and and uh, it. Every, everyone understood quite well, and we know each other for a long time. To but I, I want to achieve this like old school cinema kind of look, um, and uh, use anamorphic lenses and, and uh, like a wide aspect ratio. And uh, I don't know, <laughs> it's it just it, it was really nice to work with him, yeah, because I like it, it's. I, I was looking at the visuals and I was just like, wow, this is just blowing me away because it's just so beautifully shot. I, I was for an action film, which you normally you don't get that. You get that in this film. And that's uh, mm. high praise for you, you, your cinematographer and everybody around who did such a great job. Um, what can you tell the Muse TV audience to get them out? Because um, there's not many there's action films out there, but nothing like this that has so much to it, so much depth. And like I say, visual stunning. Well, I, what I was, what I would think, like what's different with this one, is uh, it has a lot, lot of heart. It's not only like 
glowing Nazis to pieces. It also, I think, it has like a seriousness and heart in the core of the whole thing. And at the same time, it's a lot of fun. And and it's a, I think it's more inventive than most of the action films you see nowadays. Mm-hmm. Like, because I didn't have that much of money to do it. I knew that I had to be inventive of what, how will Artemis survive? How, how this time he will kill the Nazis? And, uh, and I dare everyone, if, if somebody like guesses beforehand what Adam is going to do next, that's, that's a, <laughs> like, a, I don't think that's not going to happen. No, I don't think so at all. I think everybody's going to be on the edges of seats excited watching this movie because it, it got me excited when I was watching it. Yamari, thank you so much for stopping with us. Really appreciate it. Uh, thank you. Movie's gonna do, do really well. I, I really think so. But thank you so much for. I hope so.